Daisy UI versus Tailwind UI versus this guy UI. Welcome back. The rules are simple. In this episode, I'm gonna be building the website using my brain and no component library. I have no clue how this is gonna turn out. I will be using Tailwind CSS. Let's get on with it. First thing I need is a navbar. Here we go. Does anybody know how to code? I don't think I have coded a navbar for about five years. Let's see if I can remember how to do anything. You know what? I'm going to turn off this uh, inline fold extension so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, not too bad. Basic. We now need a hero. I'm going to try and be careful to not just replicate the previous two websites. I'm going to try and use my imagination and be, I was going to say be slightly creative, but I don't know if I'm just completely lying at this point because they're probably all just going to look very similar. Let's just see what happens. Quite a lot of padding on a hero, usually. Quite big text, what the class is like. I'm going to guess and we'll see what happens. I need the content from ChatGPT. I did a lot of preparation for this video. Got all the tabs open that I needed. Thought about what I was going to do. Planned it out. Didn't do any of that. I'm going to make this website responsive where I can be bothered to make it responsive. When I can't be bothered, I'm not going to. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. It's just starting to actually give me a bit of rage, having to start the server over and over again. That's just wonderful. Am I just rebuilding Tailwind UI components? Hard to be original, especially when you've got Daisy UI and Tailwind UI, which are so good. You, start, you end up just mimicking them. What can you do? Not terrible, really, is it? I need to add a button. Here we go. With Tailwind UI, there are a lot of classes that go into just a button. I am gonna see what happens. Make it my own as I use background in the Go 500. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. We've got a Tailwind UI button. Not bad. Let's add a background color. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. About section. Looks about right so far. Why does that look so horrible? A bit too wide. Yeah, I think the gaps need to be bigger as well. Okay, that title needs to be bigger as well, I think. Simple, clean and simple. I'm gonna jazz it up a little bit. Okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe I can design a bit. Maybe I can. Maybe not. Maybe not, actually. Maybe it doesn't look good. Anyway, we're sticking with that. That's our about section done. Now we need a blog section. This is where it gets interesting. Hopefully. So, I'm thinking we're just going to need three cards, three corn cards, trying not to make it the same as Daisy UI. To be honest with you, this is probably going to look like a really crap hybrid of Daisy UI and Tailwind UI. Okay, it's coming together. It's 
both gap between them. Okay, okay, get in there. You know what, I'm just going to make a button component. I've just realised this makes no sense, it should be a link, but I actually don't care, it doesn't matter. You get the point. So that looks rubbish. Let's actually just make them all look the same. I should have made a component for each of these cards as well, but when you're just smashing something out of this, you... Oh, your brain doesn't... Well, my brain doesn't think ahead. It's good. It's really good. I'm going to have to copy the content in. They're going to be all different heights. Thankfully, they are just the same height by complete fluke. If you change the screen size, they're not going to be, probably. See, like that. But to be honest with you, like... Uh, okay, all right, okay. I'll try and switch my brain on and figure out how to do it. My camera stopped working. I figured out the blogs. They're all about the same height and the buttons are all at the bottom. So that is very good and very clever of me. If anyone's interested in the code, this is how I did it. Very good, very clever. Next section, contact. So we're just gonna have a really simple contact form. Start using my brain again, unfortunately. I'm gonna mix it up a bit, and this is probably gonna look terrible, but whatever, I don't actually care. Yeah, it looks terrible. Ooh, Ooh not bad. Okay, okay. Not terrible, not terrible at all. We'll take that, we will take that. Butter, we're on to the last component. Can't believe it. I am so talented. Ooh. There we go. That's... Yeah. It's actually not that hard, is it? I think that says more about Tailwind CSS than anything else. I do kind of feel like I was rebuilding Tailwind UI components. I didn't put that much imagination into the design of this. A bit of a, it is a bit of a hybrid of Daisy UI and Tailwind UI. Interesting. Next time I'm going to compare the three websites, Daisy UI, Tailwind UI, my one, and I'm going to rank them all. I'm going to rate them all. There's going to be different categories and I'm going to rank them and rate them on the different categories. It's going to get wild. It's going to get really wild. It's going to be brutal. Probably not going to be brutal make sure you subscribe that's the main takeaway from this it could be the most important thing you do all day the end